Hey, um, to answer a lot of people's questions about Photoshop and free transforming, I'm going to show you guys how to quickly uh, free transform an image. Uh, basically, free transforming is a way to um, move around certain elements in a photo, manipulate it in terms of size and, uh, and rotation. Um, let me pick a quick picture to show you. Let me type in uh, X-Men, for example. Let's get a picture of the X-Men. Why not? First link is dead. Go figure. Uh, yeah, picture of Wolverine. I'm going to copy this picture and show you guys how to free transform. Now I got this picture in uh, Photoshop. I'm going to show you a cool little trick. You can use your select tool um, to pick pretty much any part of Logan's head. Uh, let's see, we pick the entire thing. We draw a square around it. By hitting Control T while you have something selected, you can now, you're can you now in free transform mode, meaning you're allowed to change certain things in this picture. For example, you can make his head big by dragging the corner you can make him narrow, large, small, whatever the case may be. Um, free transforming you can use in, in many cases to make things small or to fit. For example, I just made a small avatar of his head. Um, remember, all you have to do is really select a certain area, hit Control T, and then you have the free transform tool. You can rotate things. Uh, I mean, it, it's really, really awesome. Uh, free transforming is an absolute must. Uh, I think for a lot of people, if they deal with things that are pictures, like PDFs, uh, let me find a PDF for you guys. That I'm going to show you how, what the cool thing is about to uh, transform. Uh, here we go. Let's see, what is this? An IRS PDF. Okay. Okay, perfect. I'm going to open a PDF now, and I'm going to free transform in the PDF. Um, let me just drag it into Photoshop real quick. It's going to ask me what pages I would like to open from the PDF. I'm sure you guys already know how to open PDFs in Photoshop. Now that you have uh, the PDF, you can change wordings really, really easy. Um, you can actually highlight, let's say, the word tax return and you can move it you can move it anywhere you want the free transform tool allows you to move things as well so if you free transform something uh, highlight again in control T you'll be able to have full control over it like drag it put the words in different places uh, I mean it's it's really cool if you're editing uh, um, I can even move a whole paragraph I can cut the paragraph out uh, I can move another paragraph up again free transform move it up and I can again paste what I just cut and swap the positions of the paragraphs. I think free transforming can be used for almost almost anything. Um, let me pick another photo. I'll show you guys another uh, another cool trick. No, actually, here's something cool I learned: a uh, brick wall. This is one of the first tutorials I think I've ever seen. Um, you basically have a picture of a, a brick wall. All right, well, see, it shouldn't really be like this. It should be another way, uh, meaning it should be skewed, but that's okay. We can make it skewed. Uh, I have a brick wall, and now I'm going to use my text tool, and I'm going to write something like, uh, this is a test, whatever. Uh, let's make it bold, and let's make the size 72, which is big. Now I can apply, let's say, a glow. To this thing, let's uh, let's see what kind of glow. Is it? All right, this looks fine. No, it's ugly. Ugly. All the presets are ugly. Okay, let's whatever. Um. Now let's make the opacity very large. Okay. Now I can take this text that I just wrote and I can hit Control T again, free transform it, and this time I can choose to skew it. Now what skew will do is it will allow me to make this appear. Well, this is why I wanted a skewed background. Make it appear as if it's really written on the uh, wall here. Again, I'm working only with free transform here. Mind you, I'm not doing anything but free transforming. I'm trying to get this to look 
like it is kind of written on it. It's difficult. <laughs> well, now that I skewed it, I can, uh, let's see. Where's my transparency over here? You know what? I got totally lost in what I wanted to do with this tutorial, I'll be honest. And I'm really tired. I don't want to... Let me merge these images. I don't want to uh, redo it. <laughs> but here, for example, uh, again, doing nothing but free transforming and transparency. Uh, just the whole point of this entire video <laughs> is to get people to... Um, to get familiar with free transforming things. Uh, you'll be able to move things. You'll be able to... Uh, make things bigger, smaller. I mean, that's pretty much what you really want to do when you want to manipulate pictures, right? Yeah, but most most uh, simple simple things. Look, look, let's look for another uh, picture of, let's say, Obama and my caps is on. Obama and Biden. Let's get a picture of both of them. Check this out. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little tool to select around Obama's head real quick. A very sloppy job because I want to hurry up, you know what I mean? So I'm copying this guy's head. Okay, and I'm going to cut it. And now I'm going to cut Biden's head. Again, excuse me for the sloppy job I'm just showing you real quick what I mean by free transforming and being able to manipulate pictures alright I cut this guy's head and now I'm gonna just use my free transform tool to select and move it right over Obama's head very sloppy I know but now I'm gonna paste Obama's head back and I wanna move it over Joe Biden's and I wanna free transform it again to make it big to fit his body kind of I mean, I'm just playing around here. This is not, uh, you know, I lost resolution. You'll lose resolution if you go bigger, but if you go smaller, it's going to be okay. But here's just an idea. Um, this is just how you free transform in Photoshop. Uh, I hope you got a basic understanding of it. I know I'm not a great teacher tonight, but, uh, you know, I'm just, here's another uh, size, how can control size. I know you can control font, but let's say you want to fit it into a paragraph or a tight spot. You know what I'm saying? That's just the best way to do it. Um, remember, control T is free transforming, or you can right click your selection and free transform. Alright, um, maybe I'll show you some other stuff later on, but uh, hope this helps some of you guys out. Alright, bye.